Hey, hey, hey. It is Dr. Phil, and I'm out here at 426 Troy Kate Road. This is near Sevierville. Some people pronounce it Sevierville, uh, Tennessee. Not too far from the, the resort area, Gatlinburg. Um, we're just at the cusp of evening, so it's pretty dark. But I think you can get an idea of the uh, incredible view behind this property. Um, I, that's that's heading. That's looking right into the Great Smoky Mountains National Park there, and uh, it's just really phenomenal. I'm I'm sure this video is not going to do it do it justice from what I can see with my naked eyes here. But um, we've got a large home here. Um, it is a distressed situation, and so we're just gonna we're just gonna get a video of the interior of the property and work up a budget and then we're going to work on developing a solution for them. So anyhow, that's what we're doing. We got Polly Pockets hey, along for the ride. We're in Sayerville? Is that what it's called? Sevierville. Sevierville. I've always okay. called it Sevierville. Sevierville, just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, this is another one of the marketing from the internet. So it's not a bad house. It's, it's fairly large. There's not much wrong with it. It's really a uh, carpet and paint and then just spruce it up, clean it up and be able to sell it because right now the renters have uh, did quite a number on it. Anyway, it has beautiful views, mountain views and everything. Overall, not a, not a bad house and pretty solid. So, there is some nice foundation. Right there. there is some foundation she, issues right here. Yeah, she said it was actually some a phenomenon called trust lift mm -hmm. that was going on, which I wasn't completely clear on what she means, but nothing that can't get patched up, I think. Like, it's not a, it's not a severe structural issue. You just, you just, yeah, you just have to put a little patching up there. So there's two bedrooms. And here's a bed act. We've got a little over 3,000 square feet here, so. Uh, it's got an awesome deck out here, which is screened in, so makes for a really pleasant uh, place to sit and read. And you got this incredible valley vista in front of you. So, really large, really large deck here. Um, this room kind of adjoins the master as a uh, maybe an office type of area. Um, and then here we're in the master bedroom itself. Okay. So here's your master. It's got a got a separate shower and a really nice deep jacuzzi tub there. Really like that tub a lot. And got a walk-in closet here. So there you go. Nice, good closet. And um, laundry area here. I'm assuming this goes to the garage, right? Cool. Honestly, it needs some work. Obviously. There's Polly Pockets again. They put some. They what's put what's your name, Chris? House. Chris. That's Chris. Everybody, say hi to him. Girls, email me. I'll give you his phone number. Like that. Your mom was saying about the truck. So this looks like a storage area uh, downstairs there. Can't really see much over here. So, but um, you know, it's just a it's an unfinished area where you can see a lot of the foundation walls, and they've got uh, plastic down throughout there too. Uh, there's your water heater, by the way. So. Looks like it's insulated down here. That's good. Okay. Then here's uh, an additional living space down here, which they're kind of using as an apartment. I think this is where the two gentlemen are living right now. And that, it's not a very old house. I think uh, this was built in 2001 or something, if I remember the details right. A nice bedroom here. Mm 
another bathroom. So it looks like it's three full baths then in, in the property. Got a little kitchen down here too, in the dining area. And this is uh, just below the, the, the deck we were on earlier when we were looking out at the mountains and everything. So. so the only thing left is the garage and we'll go take a look at that. If I can get this door unlocked. Not like a and, uh, By the way, we've got Hestoning from Houston running around with us today. Hey, Hestoning. All right. I sure. I already got it, man. So here's the garage. It's a nice two-car garage area. The floor's not in too bad shape. Easily could be epoxy to be perfect. So. There we go. So, uh, again, this is Phil Baumgart. Make sure you subscribe to our buyer's list at 615housegrab.com. And, of course, you're watching us on YouTube here. And if you need anything, just call our office. Uh, our office is at 615-469-1500. Uh, Email is 615housegrab at gmail.com. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.